Well, now we're going to find out about a summer program for seventh graders. And with me is Dwayne Wilson, the Advanced Skills Program Director at the Robinson Learning Center, and Jackie Rucker, who is Director of Community Engagement for the University of Notre Dame. Welcome to both of you. Hi. Good to have you here. Now, Jackie, uh, why don't you tell us what this program is all about? Okay, uh, we are trying to put together a uh, a summer camp for rising seventh graders that will uh, help them to think innovatively mm -hmm. and use their critical thinking skills. Okay, what's the program called? Okay. It's called Innovative Thinkers Camp. Okay, and uh, you're talking about seventh graders, uh, and you're and you're talking about entrepreneurship and innovation. Is mm -hmm. is this kind of this is advanced stuff for seventh graders, isn't it? Why so young? to get into this? Well, we need to nurture the economic pipeline in the community. Mm -hmm. um, in my job, I'm actually Associate Director of Community Relations. Okay. And in my job, I'm in a lot of meetings where we talk about the need for problem solving, people to be able to solve problems and think independently. Mm -hmm. And that's what the workforce needs, that's what employers are looking for. But we also, um, in conversations I've had with Duane and with other people, mm -hmm. we were asking who's, who's nurturing that? Who's, who's cultivating that culture okay. in our community? Now, Dwayne, how did the Robinson Learning Center get involved in this? Well, one of the things I do is entrepreneurship, and our main goal in this, in this camp is to bring together innovation and entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. But I want to go back to a point that you made in terms of highlighting the fact that these are seventh graders. Mm -hmm. So, of course, they're seventh graders, and it might seem like a little young, but what we're doing is not focusing on entrepreneurship as we classically think about it, business plans and all those kinds of things. What we're trying to really cultivate is the spirit of entrepreneurship or the character traits that a true entrepreneur would have and begin instilling those early so that as they progress their eighth and ninth grade year on beyond high school and college, we would have instilled in them those things that the 21st century employers are looking for. And these are students or workers who are creative, innovative, mm -hmm. problem solvers. So what actually happens at this program? What are the kids going to expect and see and do? They will uh, meet local entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and uh, get a chance to hear their stories and how they got started. They will learn about literacy and applying it with technology. They will uh, learn about social media and branding. But instead of branding a company, branding yourself. How do you, if you're the, if you're the kid that the teachers say, oh, <laughs> you're Gordy's sister. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I remember Gordy. Yeah. How do you brand yourself in school okay. so that so that you can be successful. So uh, what, uh, what kind of hands-on opportunities uh, happen at this camp, or what, what will happen? Well, what will happen, um, like for example, the first day, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna introduce entrepreneurship and what it means to be an entrepreneur. Then, uh, along that process, we're gonna begin merging literacy, because again, seventh graders, the biggest thing that they need to focus on now is not a job, mm -hmm. but on their academics. So we're gonna set up a blog uh, so that they can begin to write about their experiences, enhancing their, their writing literacy, enhancing their reading, and then learning how to navigate through the, the melee of the social media, but do it in a proper way. Jackie mentioned branding. And again, that's what every entrepreneur has to focus on, the brand of his product, the brand of his business. But we want them to see their future as their business. So if they can take all this stuff in, on their person, and then later on, they'll be able to translate that into business, into employment, into college selection. Now, I understand this is a this is a three-year uh, initiative, correct? Correct. That's correct. So, and, and you're going to follow these seventh graders next year. They'll be back in the following year, uh, and a little bit different focus each year too. Is that correct, Jen? Yes. Uh, the first year they're concentrating on themselves and the entrepreneurship. The second year we're going to concentrate on project-based learning, mm -hmm. and so they learn how to be a, a effective member of a team. Okay. And then that third year we want to polish those skills and get them to learn how to apply them at an even higher level. Mm -hmm. And so ideally, as we as that third year, mm -hmm. we'll focus on STEM. Um, and, and there'll be a project in the community that they will take hold of and they will solve a, a legitimate real problem within the community that benefits either a local school or a local business. So it's not just in theory they're gonna do this, we want it to be a real practical mm -hmm. solution mm -hmm. that they're coming up with. So what kind of kids are you targeting this first year to get into the program? We've been partnering with uh, 100 black men. They have the Freedmen's Academy at Harrison School, so mm -hmm. they'll have uh, five young men from that program. The Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority has a program called the Emerging Young Leaders, and they will uh, uh, have five young ladies from that program. 
Uh, La Casa de Amistad is going to have five girls and boys from their organization that will participate, and then also five children from the Robinson Community Learning Center. So the majority of them will be from the west side of South Bend, but we will also have children from the Robinson Center as well. Well, very good. Well, it sounds like an exciting program. We're and, excited about and, it. And yes. good luck with this, and we appreciate you coming in and telling us about it. And we'll have some more information at our website at WNIT.org. So thank you, Dwayne Wilson and Jackie Rucker, for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with everything. All right. Thank okay. you. Uh, next up, 